Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good this morning. So I wanted to come on here with the podcast. So I want to talk about the whole Tamar and Lonnie Love situation that went down last night on Instagram. Honey, if you don't have your teacups, you better go run and get it because this whole mess was crazy, okay? So for all of y'all who are confused as to what happened, what happened is this. Tamar Braxton went on to the Wendy Williams show, and so Wendy Williams was interviewing her, and of course, you know, little Miss Wendy, honey, had to be a little bit messy, and basically, she feels that, you know, the real is not the same real as it was when Tamar was there, and that, you know, and she asked Tamar, would she go back on the show, and Tamar was like, no, and she felt like they might be trying to use her for marketing purposes. Anyways, I want you guys to go ahead and check out this snippet of Tamar Braxton on the Wendy Williams show. Check this this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Would you ever go back to the real? I always ask you this. I used to, I, like, I, I, like, like, a cute show, but they need you. Yeah. Just sad. I love you. And, and you were done dirty. I love you. No, you know, we talk about this behind the scenes, but we this have. is an in front of the scenes thing that I would like people to, if you care to expound on it. Well, here is the thing, you know, I, I don't want to be anybody's marketing tool this season, no shade, but you know, I just wish everybody well. And I just feel like sometimes God has to move you out of situations before you become more toxic to yourself. Right. And so what if I was in a situation where I'm doing the Braxton's and it's very stressful and then I'm doing this other show where people are cat being catty behind my back. Like oh. what kind of person would I be right oh. now sitting on this couch? Yeah. I wouldn't be focused. I wouldn't be ready for my transformation. I wouldn't be ready for my elevation. And that's where I got to go. I got to go up and up and up and up. You know, I, I went to, I went to um, Candy's Dungeon Tour. Oh, yeah. All right, so you guys just saw what Tamar Braxton had to say about the entire situation. So, of course, once that video went viral during the day, Lonnie Love decided to address it on the reel, okay? And so she spoke on it. She was saying that they were not trying to use Tamar for promotional purposes. They were trying to close a chapter in their life, just like Wendy Williams did with the whole NeNe Leak situation. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys what um, Lonnie Love had to say on the reel. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary hi wendy first of all thank you for calling us a cute show we're also an emmy winning show so don't forget that sis. um tamar braxton was your guest and we appreciate the fact that you brought us up um i just want to be full disclosure it's been three years i don't know why you guys keep talking about this whole situation um We've actually never spoken about it here. Never. No, we never spoke Not about here. it. But what here. happened, what, what had happened this summer, okay, <laughs> was that Tamar Braxton gave us an apology for everything that happened that these girls on this table had no, no issue with doing. Um, since then, that apology has been taken down. Oh. And so it was I, I, in my humble opinion of trying to be this strong black woman, invited her to come on the show for season six. It was a simple public ask. I did try to call her um, privately. I've been texting her. I get no response, so I just put it out there. The show has reached out to her. Tamar, nobody is trying to use you as a marketing tool, sweetie. We, you apologized to us over the summer, and we just thought to close this loop. That's just what we like, never asked Just her. like what Wendy did yesterday with Nene, you know, to men fists, that's all. That was the intention, and that is it, okay? That's it. So, you are still welcome, my dear, yeah. to come on anytime. It's not a big deal. Seriously, we as black women have to stick together. Yes. We as women have to stick together, okay? It's no cattiness. It's, it's just we need to have you come here so we can close the circle. You apologize, we opened it up to you, and it's still there and it will always be there. We love you, Tamar. You are a powerhouse and we know, you know us. So, that's it, that's all I have to say. All right, so you guys just saw what Lonnie Love had to say. And in my personal opinion, I didn't think it was such a big deal. But for some reason, honey, Tamar got in her feelings. She was not here for it. So she took to Instagram and this is what she posted. She says, when the guilt settles, Lonnie cut the BS. Thanks at Wendy Williams show, my sister for having me. You may not have an Emmy yet, 
but the girls are surely watching. Anyways, back to my transformation. Then she goes on to post these messages, um, these screenshots, basically showing that, you know, allegedly Lonnie Love wrote a letter to get her fired. So this is what the message says. It says, so I just found out Lonnie Love was writing letters to get you kicked off the show. She wrote the network. LOL, Lonnie was writing the network on you. I'm hearing this story. Then Tamar replies, I told everyone that it was her, but no one wanted to believe me. Then the other person replies, yeah, I got confirmation right now. Person who wrote and worked for her is spilling her tea. And then uh, Tamar says she was upset I was making and then it gets cut off. So as she's writing this, of course, people are like dragging Lonnie Love and going off on her. And one of the people that replied back to Tamar Braxton was Todd Recall. So Todd Recall says to her, Praying that this passes soon. I love you and your talents and personality are so immense. We need to be roommates and take the other's phone away from each other when we're about to post things we might regret. So then Tamar replies back to him and she says, Todrick, brother, well, Lonnie shouldn't have been stalking me and Wendy today and started this bullshit. I've said nothing mean about them nor their dusty ass show. She should have just left me the fuck alone. It's too much. I'm tired of her lying and me taking it. No more. Everyone knows me and knows I'm not thinking about them and wish them well. They should have sat this one out, period. So then Lonnie Love comes to her comment section and basically confronts her. And she says, who writes letters? Who sent this? Let's talk it out. Stop going on every other show. You know you want to and bring your man. Then after Lonnie uh, replies back to her, Tamar decides to be even more petty. And she posts an old video of Kaya and T.S. Madison basically going in on Lonnie Love, just really degrading this woman. And Tamar Braxton writes, sorry, I only go on shows with ratings, plus you do enough talking about me. So y'all go ahead and check out this video that she posted. Lonnie, you fat, triple neck ass bitch. You, you scrubby thigh asshole. You ain't had no motherfucking business bringing that shit. You know Tamar don't fuck with you. Ooh. See, this is probably with whole. I don't like when bitches do bullshit like that. You know a bitch don't fuck with you, so you jump up and say, we over here at the real. We just want to do a shout Y'all out. Y'all hoes ain't real. Y'all some phony. Cut ass. the real and put the queen's court on TV. You have phony, ass. fat neck, ham, hog, stupid ass bitch. So then underneath that video, Lonnie Love comes back and she says, I know you are scared, Tamar, but if you're going to accuse me of something, do it to my face, but you can't handle the truth. I thought your apology was sincere. That was why I wanted you to come on the show. I can't wait for your next funny meme. Let's go, sis, at Tamar Braxton. So yeah, it got really messy. And when I tell you, honey, Lonnie wanted all the damn smoke. The thing that bothers me with this situation is that, you know, at the end of the day, You know, Tamar made a public, you know, uh, statement on a public platform. So if Lonnie Love wants to reply back to her, why is that an issue? You know, I don't think Lonnie said anything disrespectful um, in her response to Tamar and Wendy. They are an Emmy winning show. And people might think the real is whack without Tamar. But at the end of the day, since Tamar has been gone for the past three years, the real is doing just fine. You know, people still watch them. People thought that once Tamar left, that'd be the death of the show. And that hasn't happened. My thing is, if you have truly moved on and you're on a new chapter in life, you can't keep looking behind you. You have to focus forward. You have to keep your eyes on the road. You can't keep looking in the rearview mirror because then at that point, you're going to be stuck thinking about all the things that happened in your past. And I think at this point, Tamar needs to let it go. And another thing that bothers me, if you're going to post stuff and you're going to create all this chaos and, you know, all this drama, then why delete it the next day? Delete all that shit! Delete all that shit! That's play with you, piggy! Now, if you go onto Tamar's page, everything's deleted. So my thing is stand by your shit. If you feel like, you know, this woman set you up and wrote letters and, you know, the real is doing all this stuff and throwing shade at you, then why delete it? You know, when Todd Recall was telling her the truth, she wanted to get mad and get snippy with him. But like he was saying, if there's an issue, you don't have to make everything public on social media, especially if it's going to be something that you're going to regret the next day, which is obvious because she in return deleted everything. And am I 
I saying that Lonnie's totally innocent? You know, I don't know. I don't know if anybody wrote a letter. I don't know if Tamar's telling the truth, Tamar's lying. I don't know who was behind her firing, but I just don't think this is a good look with her going back and forth constantly with the real. I understand that Wendy Williams asked her a question, you know, and she answered it and Lonnie replied back and it should have just been left at that. All the other stuff, you know, posting the videos and writing the stuff and accusing her things to me was just kind of unnecessary, especially if you're going to go ahead and delete everything the next day. At the end of the day, anybody could have wrote the message. We don't know who that text message was from. And like Lonnie said, who writes letters? You know, who knows? But at the end of the day, you know, I just wish Tamar would focus on her. She has a lot of blessings. She's doing good on the tour with Candy Burris. I think those are the things that she just needs to focus on, you know, her new relationship that she seems truly happy in you know her son and things like that and don't focus on the negativity because obviously the whole real situation she still holds a lot of feelings and animosity towards them so I think she just needs to focus on more positive stuff and just let that be water under a bridge okay so I mean I just hope at the end of the day these are two successful black women they're both doing their own thing you know what I'm saying they're both handling business so I just think they should focus on that some relationships are just not worth salvaging point blank period sometimes you have to let people go their own separate ways and keep it moving everybody's not meant to be friends you know what i'm saying she said her piece tamar has said her piece now they just need to let it be water under a bridge and move their separate ways so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning lonnie love and tamar braxton getting into it yesterday on Instagram because of what happened on the Wendy Williams show and because of Lonnie's response to Tamar. Are you team Tamar Sheehan on this or are you team Lonnie Love? Um, and then do you feel like Tamar was wrong for taking it where she took it or do you feel like Tamar had every right to call out Lonnie if she believes that Lonnie's the one who got her fired? And then do you feel like Lonnie's response on the real was that bad to where it set Tamar off the way that it did? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.